Hey guys, welcome back to another video. But anyway, today we're going to start a little series that is, well, how to make, well, right now, today we're doing like a simple plane series on how to build step by, or er, piece by piece. This series hopefully will become helpful to you. But today we're going to learn about the landing gear. The landing gear is actually kind of simple. Now all you have to do really is add controls here. Add controls. All right. So this landing gear is actually kind of nice to have because oh look, it folds. It folds really well without breaking. Though this one does break because of those G forces. This thing can fold. I mean, if you do this, it'll just break and slide off. But if you don't, if you have a plane that doesn't do that, well, you should be fine then. I got a couple of examples. Oh, there you go. Get it again. And this one won't have it anymore. But anyway, it still works. It looks a lot better. Make sure we're damaging. Anyway, let's start to land here. I'm not using my joystick, so this is gonna be a little tough. Yeah, uh, let me just land here. Come on, land, land, land. Well, hold on. Final approach. here. I might have to remove that big cloud because that big cloud does get in my way. But we're just going to land it nicely. Use joystick. I mean my mouse as a joystick. does land nicely you just have to there break 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 but there we go that's the landing gear and now we're gonna know how to build it so I do have a plane that shows you how this thing works and it's this one. I actually have the exp uh, system exposed here. This is a different type of landing gear, but same concept. And it actually uses springs. So these springs are definitely gonna help. So if I go to locations, go to bandit, press five so the wheels become lifted. And then we just do that and that's pretty much how it works you can change the timing on this the wheel so it becomes slower but yeah that's how it works so this is I'm gonna show you a different way the other way is act this this way is actually a bit harder not by much harder it's just a bit quite a bit more work but anyway let's start with a new aircraft so let's just go here. Come on. Yeah, okay, new aircraft. So now, I'm not gonna build an actual aircraft for this, but I'm just gonna show you how to make the basic landing gear. I'm gonna show you a couple more examples after I do this, so you can see what you guys can do with it. Let's do 275, was it 27525? It doesn't have to be equal, it's just this way I like it. So now we're going to go to gizmos and then hinge rotator. Now I'm not going to change the settings to set it to landing gear just yet, but and I do that because I need to make sure it'd be easier for me to actually change the input if I do use VTOL first. So now I have an assembly assembly, but you can t if you have one, you just use pipe. 
I just do this, rotate it, and now just make it smaller just a bit. And then I, I showed this on stream, how did it work, I didn't really go into detail on in how to make it. So this is what I'm doing this episode, if you could smooth it in, I'm not for this video. And then, just kind of like that. And then, bam. Now you just do this, mirror it. You don't, it doesn't necessarily work with mirror. You have to copy the whole system over. It makes it easier when you do this. But anyway, so now we're gonna get the wheel. We're gonna get the gear, no, maybe on the landing gear, maybe this. Now, what I do want is make it big. Let's say this big. That big looks fine. Do a bit of suspension here. All right, now we got that. All right. So this is gonna be the easy part or the less time consuming part but it does kind of get annoying so what you can do you can do just copy one of these over and then put that on and get like a spring could be under gizmos Sh or yeah shock spring whatever you want to call it shock and spring really now we're just gonna copy this over a couple times so I get more room like this. And then you're just gonna have to do that. Now what I like to do is do that. Set it all the way up. It actually does kind of help with it. And now for the final part. Well, not really the final part, but true. Just gonna copy and paste that. And this is so the springs don't break when they're folded in. And that's why I have a few springs on there as well. So not only so only one spring doesn't have to take all the stress, but every the three springs take the spread eh, take the stress. It's a lot nicer. And now with this, now you, you might, if you've gotten this far, you probably have this already. And you can make this a lot nicer too. This is, I'm gonna show you the basic bomber style, like a World War II bomber style. And then you just go to here, if you have fine tuner. If you don't have fine tuner, that's fine. You just use the built in one. And then you just kinda select all of this. If, sorry if it's so bright, I need to change that. It gets annoying for me too. Then you do multi edit. Just find the correct one. That's not it. That's it. And you just kind of go up. And in. You just should be connected to that. And then you go in here, where these are, you do that, make sure, so they're connected. Now, if I'm correct, it should just work like that. And now here's the reason I want you to keep it on the regular retail settings, is so if you do this, oh man, that's, that's broken. Whoa. Oh, you know what? I know what it is. Make sure these are set to ah engine motions floppy. Yeah, okay, that's the problem. Yeah, make sure you set it to where it's floppy. And now it's just disabled. That means these are probably the same thing. Yeah. So we're just gonna switch stuff to view here. 
just do the same thing here. Yeah, just do that. It's no big problem though. And see, this is, you have to connect it to there so it doesn't do that. It does happen. It happens to me. You just saw. Make sure you connect it again. And now, it's like that. Now this is a nice looking landing gear, right? And look at that fold. It folds nicely, right? Now, of course, you're going to want to, uh, it's not balanced, so. Of course, you're going to want to, uh, so where these are no collision on as well. Now, okay, so it's minimal. So we go min. And all right, now we're going to go for the X amount of modding, modding, which is needed for the landing gear. I will leave a link to the mod below. But we go here, we go min. You can just control paste it. And then we go there and go landing gear. All right. Then we go true. All right. Now with that true, all right, you're gonna do true here as well. Then. Then it goes, yeah, you just do true all the way through. I think I did that one. No, I did not. Alright, good. And then you should have landing gear right after this. So you can make this as fancy as you want. Get creative with this. Because it's actually quite, it's an awesome thing to do. There, yeah, I did that one. Yeah, just making sure. Alright, good. There. All right, there. Now let's test it out. So let's see. All right, we got that. Now we just roll that in, and it's perfect. It worked perfectly, and you can move it up with it. But that's how it works. It's actually quite simple. It's very nice to do, and looks really well for you build. And this is, uh, for this type, it may vary with your string number. The number of sp strings may vary, depends on how big the landing gear is. So that's, that's, that's what happens. This could use four, but it's fine. It looks normal. And it's just a really nice thing to do for your builds. And now I'm gonna make, set this slower. 30%. Then I'm gonna multi select. Sorry, multi select. And then just kind of do it all the way down there. Like that. Easy, right? Yeah. If you do mirror it, it might break the springs, but you just have to reattach it, so it's not bad. Now, let's move it up. And now, look, it's landing gear. Good looking landing gear. And now it's slower. And a bit, a bit more hidden. So it looks nice. So yeah, I'm gonna, I said I was going to show you more examples, and I will. I'm going to save this as a landing gear example. So I could use it for future references. No, no, nope, that's like a while back. No, nope, definitely not. Hold on. I know what it is. Now, the, wait, 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 yeah, there we go. Mark one. Now, this one is a good example. This is going to take a lot of, oh, wait, wait, wait. 
This one's going to take a lot to load in since I'm recording. I'm not streaming. Recording this tutorial. And yeah, that's how that's how creative I got with this. It looks really nice. I like it. I like it. And the same concept. Huh. Alright. So now let's use my remote. Yeah, the stream way. Yeah, I'm using my uh, other game remote, my not my joystick. Alright. Now we're gonna retract that. And that needs a bit more home, but Nice. And it does that. And that's basically landing gear right there. Landing gear one and one right there. It's a pretty good system. Okay, I have too many standards. Yeah, there we go. Let's choose gear. This looks really nice. It works really well too. So that's pretty much it. Since I don't like the frame rate, I'm gonna be going. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Whoa, wait, okay, then. Oh, it fell. Ah. But yeah, guys, that'll be pretty much it for today's tutorial on how to make landing gear, custom landing gear, nice landing gear. It pretty much just use that. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.